This example is how to recreate the look of traditional infrared film using Silver Effects Pro 2. What I'm going to do is I've opened up this image and I'm going to go over to my custom presets and I'm going to apply my custom preset infrared film and we'll look at what that does. Okay, let's see what this did. These settings are put into the preset and they are listed in the ebook, The Photographer's Guide to Silver Effects Pro 2.0. But essentially with infrared film what we're going to do is we're going to use a green color filter to brighten green tones and then we're going to do a customized sensitivity setting. So you'll notice here that the greens, yellows, and reds are cranked up while we've diminished the colors for blues, violets, and cyan. So these, these settings are in this preset. And then all we need to do is go into the global adjustments. And we can adjust things like dynamic brightness, soft contrast to season this image to taste. So let's make this image a little bit less bright. And let's increase soft contrast a little bit. And maybe dial down the brightness in our midtones and our highlights. The idea with an infrared image is that if you've got foliage like these green leaves, they're going to turn white. That's the idea. From here, you'll also notice that I've got the, in the preset a very strong negative structure setting, minus 65%. That's to give the, the look and feel of sort of slightly out of focus, uh, soft infrared film. And then finally, if you go into film types, there's our grain settings. We've got a fairly chunky grain setting very soft. If we go into 50 percent you can see now that grain effect. One thing you can do as a variant of this setting would be to use a very strong grain. So there's another preset that I've created called chunky infrared film and you see that that produces a stronger grain pattern than the standard infrared film and then you just need to season that to taste as well. So if you want to let's say really brighten those the foliage I can come in with a control point so let's go to selective adjustments and I'll add a control point here and crank up the brightness on these leaves and then I'll put another control point on the building to make it stand out a little bit there you go and this effect is very grainy very strong but it's something that you would have seen with traditional infrared films a very grainy appearance